She see money all around me I look like I'm the man Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jalen, also known as Natural Rain. Y'all should go ahead, make that move, subscribe. And I guess I'm just going to get into the video, except not really because y'all see this wash and go? Do y'all see this wash and go? You already know it's a new combo and you already know I'm going to be sharing it with you guys. So be on the lookout for that. So today I'm gonna be sharing my top five custards slash gels. These are the ones that made it into my heart all the products y'all know i do reviews all the time i try so many products but these are the products that i'm like it really spoke to me it really did something for me so i'm gonna be sharing that with you guys today so now we can just go ahead and get into the video i just figured i would get this one out the way it's the wetline extreme gel the clear one um <laughs> So when it comes to why I really like this gel, one, the price point, it is $3. It's $3. And um, how many, how many ounces are we getting for $3? 35.28 ounces for $3. And it gives you shine. It does give you crunch, but if you don't mind crunch, because that's the case with a lot of gels, you're just not gonna get out of that bad boy. Um, then this is the one. Like I don't know what it is, it just it really lays my hair flat without breaking the bank and so that's why i really really like this gel because it, it does that it when it comes to sleek styles even sleeking down my hair in a low puff and stuff like that this bad boy like i don't it took me by storm okay it took me by storm but I'm here for it. So the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is a styling cream. And I know I said gels and custards, but this styling cream acts like a custard and it is the Texture ID styling cream. It acts just like a custard. It has that kind of like jelly custard consistency and it, it does it for me. Because the thing about a lot of custards is that they're moisturizing but they have like the jelly consistency that's supposed to help with curl definition. So I like this because it is so freaking moisturizing. You're not gonna get a hard gel cast. And if I believe, if I'm correct, this wasn't that expensive. I bought this myself. It wasn't that expensive. It didn't break the bank, but it really, it's so moisturizing that I have in a previous video where I tried the wet line and the styling ID, I was able to not even use a leave-in. Now. In what world do you usually get to do that? So in my book, it defines my curls and it moisturizes. It had to be on the list. It just like hands down, it had to be on the list. Cause where they do that at? Y'all let me know. It has no smell, but that's not really a qualifier. I need the products to work. I like good smelling products, um, but it wasn't a deal breaker. Like, do you know how good the product has to be for this to be in my top five? And it doesn't even have an amazing smell. It won't even leave me smelling like unicorns and rainbows and shit. Do you know how good, like the product speaks for itself without even having a smell. Like that's, that's something right there. I get worded to you out of birds. I chirping, eh, eh. Y'all, if y'all knew what time I was filming this, y'all would be like, why do you have so much energy? Y'all, it is like 3 a.m. When I tell you I'm a night owl, I don't think nobody does what I do. Like, I don't do mornings very well, but here I am alive with energy at three, three in the morning. How do I do this? I gotta, someone teach me how to be a morning person because I messed up. I can't get my life right. I've been a night person all my life. I don't know what to do. I'm just, <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. I got off topic. Okay. Number three is the Bold and Buttery Gel by Main Choice. Now, the reason that I like this is it's defining, but it doesn't give me a crunch when I use it. It won't give you like the super, super defined curls. It'll give you the fro, <sighs> it's just hard to explain. Okay, so when I use this gel, it wasn't like a lot of other gels. Basically, it gave, it laid my hair but it allowed it to get volume and that's what I like. So I was experiencing day three, day four hair on day one, but it was still lasting. So in my book, if I can get it to last me a whole freaking week, but every single day it looks like day three, day four hair, then I'm really doing something, I'm really winning. And unlike Texture ID, 
it smells so good. It smells like a cupcake or something. It smells like you can eat it for real. So yes, this one, the price point is definitely more expensive, but I think it's worth it. I don't mind spending more money. Like, by the way, I bought all of these products with my own money. Um, I don't mind spending the money if I really feel like the product works and it does something different than other products. So yeah, don't mind spending the extra bread, the extra coins. Okay, so the next one, my number four, is Korea Botanicals. I don't know if I mentioned this, but these are all not in any specific order. I just like them all. They're top five, top five. Okay, so boom, it is the Korea Botanicals Styling Custard. I really like custards because for me, they do what gels do without leaving that cast. If you can see this consistency, then you'll understand why I put the Texture ID and the Styling Custard in the same category because the consistency is the same and they both work amazing. Super moisturizing is a winner. It's specifically for high porosity and Korea Botanicals works for your porosity, normal, low, and high porosity. So if you're low porosity, I would recommend getting the low porosity styling custard. But if you're high porosity or normal, I would go for the high porosity styling custard because it's bomb, super moisturizing, no crunch, all that jazz. And last but not least is the Kinky Curly Styling Custard. Now I just discovered this bad boy in OMG. This bad boy is amazing if you use it correctly. In the video that I did, I'll have it linked above, but I did a video using just the Kinky Curly products to style my wash and go, and everyone was saying I needed to apply smaller sections and stuff like that, and at first I was like, what y'all mean? This is how I always style my hair and I always get bomb results, and I did get bomb results, but um, I did smaller sections this time, and this, you know, I told you how I feel about this wash and go. I'm not gonna tell you the other product I use in it, but this, this was used in it, and it's bomb.com, y'all it's bomb.com it gives you a it's a custard but it gives you a gel cast and i'm completely okay with that because when i stretch my hair the cast goes away um it just it does it it gives you a shine it gives your hair like a shine and a luster that is so worth it it's so worth it. But the thing with using this is you wanna make sure you have a very moisturizing base. So you're going to need a very moisturizing leave-in under it or else, I mean, do not recommend. It's just with this product, you just really have to know how to use it. Make sure you do small sections. Make sure that you're evenly distributing the product after you've already applied a very moisturizing leave-in and your curls will pop, but not only will they pop, they will last. Like I'm gonna be using this bad boy when I need my wash and go to last me just a little bit longer than normal because it gives me that hold that I'm really looking for. And so does the wet line. Wet line will give you that hold. Don't you worry about that. One thing I definitely wanna mention is that Though there are five products that I mentioned, they can give me different looks. So wet line is when I want more of a tamed look. Kinky curly is also when I want more of a tamed look. The um, Korea Botanicals, um, the Texture ID Styling Cream, and the Fro the Culture Gel, those give me more of the voluminous look but it doesn't look crazy like it's not frizzy it's not frizzy it's just voluminous you know there's a thin line like volume and frizz it's not frizzy it's voluminous so i like them for different reasons so some things i'll reach for like i'll reach for a wet line if i really really want that hold i really really want that definition i'll reach for the fro the culture um or the Korea botanicals or the styling cream if i'm like okay um i have to do my hair today but i want it to look like day three day four hair but still last so like the gels have different reasons the reasons i pick certain gels are for certain reasons i like the switch up before i used to be you know volume volume all day long and i still love my volume but i enjoy the process i enjoy you know today when i do my wash and go i'm gonna have super defined hair i enjoy you know what i'm gonna have super voluminous hair the next day i enjoy that i can make my wash and go look how i want it to look but if you're someone who likes the super defined stuff then definitely go with the wet line and the um what's the other one the kinky curly stuff then 
if you're someone who likes big hair, big hair, big hair, then I recommend the other three products that I mentioned. I did just want to throw that little disclaimer out. I'm a fan of all of it. It just, it depends on the day. My idea of switching something up is like, oh, my washing goes a little bigger today, guys. I don't know if you noticed or not. So with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.